Hello, and welcome to the Medus Commentary. Those is a gameplay of an injection of thoughts, critique, and advice. My name is BlueGales25, and thank you for joining me today. I'm returning to Loadout for the, at least this video. The reason I stopped was because I just got burnt out really bad. I got up a lot of problems with the game. I keep wanting to make a video about it, but whenever I try to record a video, I just got nothing nice to say about it. I just want to shit on the game, but even for someone with a channel my size, I feel like I've been wanting to make a video, I just don't know what to make that's worthwhile. I could talk about what's wrong with the game, but everybody knows what's wrong with the game. And a lot of those problems are still there. I could suggest what needs to be fixed, and how to fix them, but I'm not a developer, so I don't know how difficult it is to fix something. I understand that this game is in a custom engine, so I can understand trying to implement something. There's not really a guidebook to refer to, you have to make it yourself. So I can understand how much... I can understand the developers doing everything for the first time. I really did enjoy this game for a long time. For about 50 hours was some of the best hours I put into a video game, into a free-to-play game. Better than Dota, better than League of Legends. I just kept forcing myself to play the game and kept forcing myself to make videos. I, get, I tried to stick to a schedule. I thought more about the schedule than the content was my problem. Is, is it the game that's... I have my problems with the game, but I spent over a hundred hours into a free-to-play game. I put, money into this, I put money into this game because I wanted to, not because I had to buy the game in order to play it. There are games I bought for $60 that I have enjoyed less than this game. For a long time, I really did enjoy this game. I just got tired of it. I think it's just as natural as that. Once I got up to a high level, got a lot to bloot, and got all the weapons I, that I was interested in playing, it, it, I boiled down my support loadouts to four different guns. In this video, I'm using a Gatling Pyro Rifle and a Gatling Health Rifle. For death snatch, that's what I use for that. And when it comes to point capture game modes, I use my double barrel launchers, my health and buff launchers. And those work very well for just staying alive and capturing points and using melee to take out people. For this game mode, this works very well for staying with somebody if you have teammates that you can trust. I normally just use slug, but I, I I use pyro for I use pyro because a lot of people say that pyro is good for support because when someone's on fire, they take 10% more damage. And I noticed that rang true because I, normally someone would be in front of me, I would just be giving cover fire. It wasn't I wasn't aiming for the best score or best kill rate. Just trying to get the points, trying to deny the enemy team. Why did I come back to the game? Well, I, I thought I gave it another go after some updates happened. And it's not a bad game. It's just if you... It's just like any other game that you play too much. You just get burnt out on it. Or when you play a game long enough that you start seeing the flaws, the, the lust goes away. And you start seeing the pimples. And you start seeing what it really is. All the problems happen. Problems that get under your skin. Will I make more loadout videos? Probably not. I don't really see the sense of it because I don't really want to make more videos. Which is a shame because I, I do want to, I just don't enjoy it. It's just something I'm trying to figure out right now for myself. Tr just trying not to force myself to make videos. Try not trying to make a video every Friday or whatever. I'm just trying to figure out what I can teach that's entertaining. There's a lot that the community has to learn, in general. Inviting new, inviting new players, keeping new players, helping them understand. I could just try to be the best player on the server, or I could try to help everybody else. So what I learned from my recent play was, if I do decide to keep playing a game, commit to teaching people. And that's going to go for every other game I play that I want to make videos about. Focus less on stroking your dick on video and focus more on giving perspectives and helping people learn and understand 
from your point of view. I like playing support and being a medic. Because it's like playing chess. You have your pawns, your knights, and your meat shields. You don't have to be in front, but you can if you need to be. With a game like this, it's versatile. There's I like I like the casual mode. I do like that I can just leave if I need to. I don't like games where I get punished if I leave. That's what made me stop playing Dota and League of Legends, because I just don't like having to commit. I just want to commit if I want to choose to do so. If I'm playing in the morning and breakfast is ready, I'm gonna leave and have breakfast. I'm not gonna wait for a game to be done, which may be over half an hour for the game to be done. I don't like games that I don't really like games that take itself too seriously. That's why I really like about Loadout, Team Fortress 2, Awesome Knots, because of that cartoony style. Has, and they have their own world. And they don't lock the door behind you. You stay because you want to. Which I appreciate. I don't have much more to say. I will make more videos of Loto if I want to. I could talk about specifics, but I kind of already covered the bases. I might make... I could make a video about my loadouts, strategies, or just trying to teach the general community, but... A YouTube video only goes so far, though. That's my problem. I just have to figure out how to teach and be entertaining and how to reach the gaming community. Because only so many people come to YouTube or Reddit to try to learn the game. Because with a game like Loadout, the problem is there's not really a way to practice. Bots don't really teach you because their attitudes are predetermined. You can't figure out um, how map is played unless you screw around and possibly ruin someone else's experience. Trying to figure out the game for yourself involves stepping on a lot of toes. That's what bothers me about the game. There's not really a learning environment, it's just like a... It's a battlefield. Which is kind of stupid. The tra training area doesn't really do you, do you much. It does the basics, but then again there are map routes. There are how the game mechanics work. There are how those... how the plutonium works. There are lots of things that people don't know about, which... Many people say are the basics, but there's no way to learn them without being told so. The game doesn't really tell you. The game doesn't hold your hand, which is nice, but if you don't know what to do, and if you don't know where to look, you won't find it, unless someone sticks your nose in it. So I'll leave the rest of the video for you to watch if you want. The match went very well, I think, but there were a lot of problems from both teams. I did some mistakes by getting aggressive, getting fed up with everybody. I know it's a lot of rookie mistakes not collecting the vials, but then again, I could have just taken the moment to help out my help out everyone and teach them. And this also shows that rockets aren't the best thing. Bullets can stop rockets. Buff goes a long way. Healers who attack as as well can make a huge difference. Just by watching the video, I think there's a lot you can learn in how the state of the game is. So that's all I'm going to say. There may or may not be another loadout video. I'm going to try to mix it up. I'm not going to try to stick to one game and burn myself out on it. Okay. I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop now. Thank you very, very much for watching. Love you all.
five captures remain. The enemy has scored, and the match is now tied. The enemy kill confirmed. Score posted. Ah! 